Lucy. Uh, today we've had the, uh, the listing, uh, the trading of uh, Global Brands, which is a spin out from uh, Lee and Fung. Um, you know, wh why, did, why did they choose to spin out Global Brands? Well, Lee and Fung has been on an acquisition spree for the last eight or so years. Uh, they have bought more than 40 different companies, brands, licensing agreements, uh, and uh, the share price really and returns have suffered as a result of this. So the spinning out of global brands uh, is, is a means to sort of rationalise the company structure a bit. Global brands is going to hold the brands that they've bought over the last several years and the licensing agreements. So things like Tommy Hilfiger, Liz Claiborne, uh, while the rump of Lee and Fung will remain, will return to being the pure sourcing uh, of product business that it always was, you know, the, the one that sources products for Walmart right. uh, and, and in China and, and around Asia. Yeah, so they're going back to their roots a little bit. They they had a great run in, in the Hong Kong market for, for years and were a real darling. But since, uh, what, the last couple of years, they haven't done so well, really? Well, I think there's a number of different things. I mean, on the longer term basis, you know, there was a huge market opportunity for them as a, as a trading company to, to fill that gap, sourcing product from China when China was a cheap place from which to source product. So they grew enormously, particularly as, as China entered the WTO. They had a lot of room to grow and, you know, and China was still a cheap manufacturing base. And, and, and through the mid noughties towards the end of the mid noughties they started to get squeezed in the middle a little bit, uh, you know, uh, Prices, particularly after the financial crisis, prices and the consumer in, in the states were suffering. So you had a, an issue on the demand side, and you also had factory input prices rising in China. So Li and Fung in the middle was getting squeezed, and they had these sort of ambitious three-year targets on a rolling basis. And you know we're going to double our op operating profits between 2011 and 2013. All these kind of targets that they used to put out to the markets uh, in in an environment which was getting increasingly difficult for them to actually deliver on their bread and butter organic right. side of things. So they so they turned. To acquisitions to fill that gap. They've done very well for a long time. Recently, they haven't done so well. Yeah. Is that the main reason that they've spun out Global Brand? I think it is. I think they need to rationalise their business, return to their roots, and so on. I think the, the 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 truth of the matter is that it's no longer a growth business, and the core business is no longer a growth business. So at best, you're going to get a good cash generative, dividend paying business, which will show you decent returns over time. Great. That's great, Lucy. Thanks a lot.